if we ask. But he remolds us and reuses us in any way that he sees fit. But we have to let him. We have to let him into our life and let him mold us into what he wants us to be. Elohim, the Creator. God is the one that made everything. And everything belongs to Him, including me. And He tries to use me in a way that He sees fit. But sometimes I don't allow Him to. He is the Godhead, the three in one. He is the God the Father. He is God the Son. He is God the Holy Spirit. He is the God that created everything. He is the Jesus who came and gave his life for us so that we could have everlasting life. And when Jesus was taken away, we had the Holy Spirit sent to us to guide us, to direct us, to help us in our everyday lives. Isaiah 43, 7 says, Everyone who is named, called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Whom I created for my glory. You were created for the glory of God. Are you shining for him? Are you reflecting his will? That's all that I have for this morning. I thank you for your time. We never know the minds of those in the audience. If there's one or more we can assist, we ask you to come as we stand and sing the song invitation. I heard the Savior say, Thy strength.
to destroy the world and set him free. He could have called ten thousand angels, but he died alone, alone for you and me. Upon his precious head, they placed a crown. Come around this table at this time as we are commanded to do on the first day of each week to come around and commune with one another and to remember the sacrifice that Christ made for us. And we are told that, that this bread is, is the representation of Christ's body and this fruit of the vine is rep representation of his shed blood on that cross. And we are told to partake of these things and do so in remembrance of Christ and of his sacrifice. So this morning, let's do just that. As we partake of this bread and we partake of this fruit of the vine, let's remember the sacrifice that Christ made for us. We'll give thanks for the bread. Father, we come before you this morning to thank you for everything you give us, but Especially, Father, we want to thank you for the privilege that we have of being your children, the privilege that we have to come around this table and to partake of this bread that represents Christ's body. And, Father, we pray that as we partake of it, we do so in a well-pleasing manner to you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Father, once again, we come to you to thank you for, for Jesus. We thank you, Father, for his life here on this earth. We thank you for his death. We thank you especially, Father, for rising him, raising him from the dead and taking our sins and, and showing us, Father, that, 
we too can be raised from the dead and have eternal life with you because of the sacrifice that was made for us. Please do help us at this time, Father, as we partake of this fruit of the vine, partake of it in a well-pleasing manner to you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. that concludes the Lord's Supper. We do take this time now to give thanks for the many temporal blessings that we've been blessed with, and uh, I think there's several ways posted up here that we can give back part of what we've been blessed with to uh, continue the work of the church, and uh, there's also a tray in the back that you can put your contributions in. So at this time, we'll give thanks for our temporal blessings. Father, we, we also thank you for the, comfort, the comforts that you surround us with on this earth. We thank you for our jobs and our homes and all the many, many things that we take for granted every day, Father. We know all that we have comes from you, and we thank you for, for everything that we have. And, Father, we ask that at this time we may give back part of what we've been blessed with, that we can continue the work of the church and help wherever we can. Continue to be with us, forgive us, and save us. In Christ's name we pray, amen. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. And uh, it's really sad that so many are content after God has revealed himself to us in his word that they would prefer to create God in their own image rather than to accept him as the awesome God and creator that he is. May we bow before him and may we stand in awe of this God of creation. Appreciate the lesson. And look forward to the other other names. He's going to have to sneak two of them in there one time if he gets all 13. Or maybe he'll carry it over into the next year. Uh, appreciate all of you that are here today. We have, uh, of course, several on our uh, prayer list. Uh, be sure and take a bulletin with you, and you can remember them in your prayers this week. Uh, David Sullins, that's Shirley's son, had his open heart surgery this week, and it went well. Then we have a couple of others. Uh, Jody Poole, which is a friend of Michelle's, was diagnosed with uh, stage 4 colon cancer on Monday, and uh, they've removed the tumor and are going to maybe doing some uh, chemo. And then Connie Bedell, that's Michelle's aunt, is having some medical issues too, so keep them in your prayers as well. There are some dates of meetings and things that are coming up, and we'll see what transpires and what doesn't as time progresses. But uh, hopefully we'll get a little handle on things and be able to uh, have these meetings and other things that are planned this year. I remind you, if, uh, if you hadn't got a calendar yet, there are still calendars back there. If you have somebody you'd like to give calendars to, uh, take as many of those as you want, and you can distribute those to friends or family, whoever you'd like to give them to. Uh, after a few months in, you know, those calendars won't be too good, so grab them and take them. I uh, will remind you of the uh, tub in the back for Seven Hills. We continue to collect for uh, that ministry here in our community, and we've chosen uh, to partner with Seven Hills because they do offer a lot of other services and so we're able to assist them in the things that they offer and uh, they have more direct contact with people. They know people that they serve better than we do if they just come knocking at our door so that's a good way for us to partner with, uh, with our community in reaching out to those that are in need in our community. And then also uh, it's time to start fattening the pig again. So if you got a little change or something you don't need, we'll just drop it in the pig when you go by and we'll uh, have that again to use at the end of this year. 
Any other announcements we need to make? Anybody knows of? If not, uh, let's stand together and Brother Marion will dismiss us. Yeah.